Well, good morning, Codge Biker here. And it's nothing but grey skies at the moment. So I thought I'd go out for a ride, see if this uh, Fender extender falls off. I know it won't. I haven't noticed anything with it. You wouldn't really. Uh, one thing I have noticed though, just updating a few things, uh, quite a few people got back to me about moisture in their TFTs. So they're a good name for a song. And um, when I took the bike out this morning, there was uh, no moisture in the TFT, it was clear, but it is stained where the water has been inside, which is annoying. So once you've had water in it, even if it was to dry out, unfortunately it's leaving some staining behind. It's cooler weather in England at the moment, in fact we're down to, it was 11 degrees when I came out. And as I've been riding, whether it's the wind chill or I don't know, but uh, I can see slowly but surely moisture collecting inside the top right edge of the uh, TFT display. So it looks like this is a permanent issue. I did, uh, some people have asked me, so um, i just update you what I've done. I did contact the dealer, explain that I already had a TFT after only a few weeks in March again when it was cold. The replacement TFT is fine all summer when it was warm but the first cold day that I went out there was uh, moisture inside it. About the same as uh, the previous TFT display so there's obviously some issue with the displays. My understanding of it is that uh, warm moist air can hold quite a bit of water that's why it's moist obviously. When it cools it deposits the water on a cold surface from my primary school science. So presumably as I'm driving along or riding along the front of the TFT is cooling down and the uh, water's condensing inside it which is not good at all. You see it best when the sun's shining on it from behind. So. I don't doubt that this one's going to have to be changed. One person got back to me and said they've had four TFTs and still they've got condensation. Which is incredible really, I mean you'd think if there's an issue, no point in just keep changing it. So I've had nothing back from the dealer yet. I will uh, give it a week and then email them again to see whether there's any news. All he did do was ask me for the mileage and that he would email KTM for advice. One thing is for sure, if the, uh, the condensation is running down inside the electricals, at some point the electricals will fail. And given that these bikes run almost entirely from the TFT, everything you do is via it. Kind of all the eggs are in that one basket, so um, yeah, not great. Other than that, I love the bike, I mean, it is annoying. I must admit, for the whole of the summer I forgot all about it. But since it has come back, then obviously uh, it starts to play on your mind a little bit. Anyway, another news, I bought some new gloves. Gauntlets, just to seal my sleeves. Although these are not really winter gloves, they are very comfortable and are great with the heated grips. Just stops that cold wind going up your sleeve, which I enjoy in the summer, but this time of the year, autumn I think we should call it. These are my autumn gloves my autumn collection. So anyway, I'm going to find uh, some muddy puddles to ride through and see whether the fender extender does its job. 
I never quite know whether to put these short ones uh, up or not. I know people don't like them if they're too long, but uh, is there enough information in this? Let me know. If you want me to keep doing these short uh, updates, I'll keep doing them. If not, I'll shut up until there's something to say. Given that winter is coming to England at the moment, riding becomes uh, less frequent. Although I do try to get out at least once or twice a week, no matter what. But still nothing gives me uh, such a lift as riding this motorbike. Just picking up on what I said in the uh, vl last vlog about uh, favourite YouTubers. One of my favourites, obviously, I think it's everybody's, is Itchy Boots. And I see she's been to England and is just about to head off to um, Patagonia, I believe. A huge respect to her anyway. I really enjoy watching her... Um, Adventures, I think I'd call her um, videos. She's someone else. Oh, it's a song by the Sex Pistols. I still love this engine. Fine looking man, she's someone else. Oh, in other news, I fitted a pin lock to my LS2 helmet. But the LS2 visor is a funny shape, so I was a bit doubtful as to whether it would work. And I really don't like riding with the visor down anyway. I'm kind of old school with that. I don't mind the sun visor down. I like to feel the wind. But some days, uh, you know, you need it down, and uh, pleased to say it was quite a steamy morning, but uh, the pin lock worked well, so... It's definitely the time of the year for fitting your pin locks. Ooh, we've got sunshine! Hooray! Unfortunately, we've also got much more condensation than when we had when we set off. What a nuisance. Don't know if you can see that, but... Uh, yeah, I need to get... Got condensation all the way across there and all the way across there. That's definitely developed since I came out. Yeah, you can see there is now mud here, 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 but it stops there. So the pyramid seems to have done its job. Somebody said there was some flex there. Well, it's meant to flex, it's plastic, it's okay. So yeah, we've got mud now to here, rather than all the way up here, so you're always going to get some, that's just on the bash plate. It looks like dead slugs and uh, sycamore seeds. You're always going to get some mud, 